Hey YouTube, this is Rock, and we're going to be doing another tutorial today. Uh, this should be my fourth video, and as you can see, I did a little work on the house we're gonna, we've been using. Uh, put a little patio in, and a gate around it, and uh, cleaned up in here a little bit. Uh, I didn't move the chest back yet because I wanted to make an iron one there, just because they take up the same. They have the same amount of storage as the double double wide uh, regular chest but uh, they only take up one block instead of two so I'm gonna make one of these real quick uh, I'll eventually do, do a tutorial on all the different uh, storage but uh, for now that's fine but uh, I'll move all that stuff in my spare time let's take a nap real quick um, today we're gonna be talking about the different wires of the game and uh, different storage options because now we have this generator and this macerator and these machines and they take a lot of power but it's better, you're better off um, storing it so we're just going to dig a little hole back here so I got some room to work we'll close this up afterwards I actually just downloaded the uh, direwolf mod Gonna try that out see what that's all about I don't want to use the Minecraft one just because it seems like everyone is and I haven't seen anything on the dire wolf one just want to check it out I want to see what red power 2 is all about because it seems to get a lot of hype and a lot of enjoyment so we'll see but uh so this is my machines this is my generator but uh when you put anything in here like this piece of coal they can charge this bar right here but that's it you know that's not really Actually, it's charging the machines first because they were both dead. So now it's charging that. So there's no real storage except for that little bit. I don't know exactly how much it is, but I don't think it's a lot at all. Let's see, this is 4,000 EU. It, it does about that. So 4,000 EU, we'll say, just off the top of my head. So we're going to go over the different storage options for power. And the first one. Hold on one second. I'll fuck something up. Alright. Oh. So. Oops. So. You gotta type in this bar. Alright. If you press O when you're not typing that bar, you lose your screen. Just so you know. Now, the first storage option is a bat box. A bat box is a battery box, obviously. And so, what it does is you put it well, anywhere, and you attach the generator. And I'll just show you what it does. It makes more sense to show. I'm a visual learner myself. Um, so this is the bat box. This is how you make it. You need uh, one, two, three, five pieces of any type of wood, I believe. Uh, I haven't found one that I couldn't use. The, yeah, I can't think of one. Oh, the redwood. I tried that. It it wouldn't work. Uh, but besides that, I think. Yeah, I don't see the redwood popping up either. Uh, so five pieces of wood, other than redwood. Uh, three batteries, three use, reusable batteries, and one piece of copper cable. And I went over, I believe, to make one of these machines, how to make the batteries. Um, it's four pieces of tin, two pieces of redstone, and a copper cable. You need, you're going to need three of them. So I have a couple of those, but I'm going to need some more. So I'll make some cable quick. Um... And while we make this cable, we'll go over the cable as well. Our copper cable is one of the low end cables. We have a bunch of different cables here, and from what I've learned, a lot of these are kind of worthless. The only ones I've actually used um, are copper cable, glass fiber cable, and ultra low current cable. We'll go over the ultra low current cable next video. The next video is going to be different power resources besides generators like windmills um, and water mills I'll probably go over and possibly the solar panel but that's kind of a you need certain machines to get to that point so maybe not but uh, we're gonna start with the copper cable uh, copper cable is nice in the beginning of the game uh, just because it's easy to make you know six pieces of rubber three pieces of copper uh, only problem with it is it only holds a ch uh, uh, power for four lengths so if I lay down from that machine, one, two, three, four, 
this next block right here, this piece, is going to start to lose power. That piece right there. So four blocks starts to lose power. It's kind of kind of sucks, but it carries a good charge and it's easy to make. The next is yeah, we're just gonna go over a few. Uh, I don't have any cable on of the other one, but we'll do this one first. Next is the ultra low current cable, which uh, holds a, sh a real low current. We should put next to each other. But so this is kind of like if you have a wind farm or a water mill farm, or you have low end solar panels, you hook them up to this wire. This wire can hold a charge up to 40 blocks long, which is great. That's a long ways. You know, we just put down, that's seven right there. So just to give you an idea, it, it goes pretty far. I'll probably go out to about right there. So we, you use it to hook up your, your power, which we'll go over next episode. So we'll get more into this for next episode. You hook up your power to your bat boxes. But for now, we're going to use the copper. Uh, we'll go over this one when we get to it. It's a, it's a, it's kind of an end, end game type. This is the, the recipes to make it. I use the silver ingot one. Uh, it's not worth going over until you get to that point. That would probably be. So what I'm gonna probably call this episode is low end power and low end uh, cable, and then eventually we'll do high end cable, high end power. Makes a lot of sense to do it that way. Because for now, all you're going to need is a bat box. Anyway, a little sidetracked, sorry. Uh, for now, we're just going to hook it up like this. Um, huh. Well, for right now, how it, this is how I have this set up is this is in the center, so both of these catch a charge off of it just because they're touching. So what we're going to do just for the, the matter of... This is a tutorial, and I'm trying to show you how to use other things. We're going to move it. Um, any of these industrial craft um, blocks, anything that requires some kind of refined iron, needs to be broken with a wrench. Let me show you which wrench, because there's a bunch of them. So what, you, what wrench you would need is this guy right here, this regular old wrench, which takes bronze. And I, I already showed in the last video bronze tools. And so you know how to make bronze, and this is the bronze you need to use. I'm not going to make one, but it takes one, two, it takes seven, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of bronze to make a bronze. Um, I'm going to make one. To make a wrench. So this is how you make the wrench. Here we, here we go, we have one right here. And so to pick up any of these, if you just took your drill or your pickaxe you're gonna, you're gonna break it. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to break one and have to rebuild it. But if you, you tap it enough it just breaks down to a machine block and you lose all the other stuff that you had to make it. So we're not gonna do that. So what you do is you take this wrench in your hands and you right click and it breaks it you pick it up bam it's in your inventory. So what we're gonna do is because it can only catch charges with stuff next to it we're going to set it up up here instead. We're going to put a piece of coal in, let it charge up a little bit, and uh, we're, going to, we're going to put a cable off of it, and this is, we're going to put the bat box right there. So let's make a bat box real quick. Let's make a few batteries. Uh, let's make sure I have all the, the stuff to make one, and I do. Uh, bat boxes are great. They're always they're going to be great for pretty much the whole... I mean, I still use them. Probably don't have to, but I do. Because MFEs are a little more expensive, they hold way more power, but we'll get to that too. You need one, two, three. Three batteries, we need a piece of that. So you put three pieces of wood on the bottom, and then one piece in each corner. Take the batteries, you put them across the middle row, and you finish it off with a piece of copper cable on the middle of the top row. That box. Alright. Um, and one more thing about this wrench is, as you can see, it it breaks, and so it's it's green right now, but it's it this bar continuously goes down like any of your other tools. Um, just so you know, there's a there's a better one, and I'll, I'll show you that right after I'm done doing this. So we already have the cable. Let's take the bat box, and we'll put it we'll put it right there. Um, let 
Let me just show you it first. I'm going to put it there, but let me show you it. So this is the bad box. It's pretty simple. As you can see, there's one spot with an orange, a little orange hole on it. That's the output. Every other side is an input. So anywhere you hook up a pipe, if I hooked up the pipe to here from the generator, that's where my input's going to be. This is always the output, that circle. With this wrench, you can move that output to any other side, wherever you need it. So how I'm going to set this up is I'm going to put it like that. And since we have we have the machine down here, I'm going to take this. I'm going to, I'm going to put my output there. And when you click on it, you see how it's charging up from. It's char It's taking this charge away. Let's put a couple pieces in just to show. And you can see it's starting to get a charge. All right. So here's your output. You put the cable down. Something like this. And see, watch one. So you see how this is coming in here, and this little orange circle is down here, like I showed. That's where I put it. So this is the output. This is where the power is going to come out. That's where the power is going to go in. This is where it's going to hold it in here. So it comes out, goes around, goes to the machine, so the machine can catch a power. Comes around out here, comes around, goes to this machine, going to catch a power. Now, as you can see, whenever I click this, even with the cable in my hands, I can't, I can't put a pipe down. I could touch this and do it, obviously. But if you can't, if you're in a spot that for some reason you just can't, this is how you do it. You press shift to squat down and click, and you won't pull up the GUI. And now this is this is a nice little setup right here where the generator's powering the bat box. It powers the machines, and uh, you just feed this in, and then it can hold the charge. And you, I got 14,000 EU on me right now, so that's a, that's a pretty good amount. And as you can see, we'll put a piece of uh, iron in here just to, just for showing show and tell. It's pulling a little, but it's actually charging more than it's pulling, which is nice. Um, that, that's how bat boxes and low-end cables work uh, to power up your machines that you have. Uh, next video, I'm going to show you power. I'm going to show you different ways to get it because generators suck. You, this is probably the only time you're ever going to use them. Uh, we're going to move on to different power systems. We're going to use uh, the water mill. This is the water mill. We're going to use the windmill, which I have never built one, so I'm going to do a little test on that before I go full-blown and showing you. And we're going to build a solar panel eventually. We're going to build all of these eventually, actually. But for now, we're going to go do the first two, the regular types of power. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm running out of time here. I hope you understand how this works, how this, this gains power. It's Think of it as a big battery. That's all it is. It's a battery box. It just holds power. Oops, I changed that. I'm going to put it right there. I don't really know what any of that does. I've never seen a change when I do it. So, um, this is Ben Brock, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Obviously, if I get in, if I get any questions, I'll answer them for you. I'm just going to close this up so it looks good. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, f the, t the, the tutorial, and I will see you soon. Thank you for your time.